has a default sign there plus minus plus. So what next thing we need to do? We're going to solve the determinant of this. <music> So at this point, you observe that x are common at this point. Because the x are common, you can factor out x, and what will be left here is x squared minus 2. 
Reason is because if x multiplies x squared to give us x cubed and x multiplies minus 2 to give us minus 2x, the whole of this is equal to 0. So it is either x will be equal to 0 or x squared minus 2 equal to 0. This follows the model that we have a b equal to 0. It's either a b equal to 0 or b equal to 0. So that is the model that we use here. So if that be the case, hence the instruction said you should find non zero, but means this will not be necessary. Let's consider this. This will become x squared equal to if this minus 2 crosses it changes to positive 2. The next thing we're going to do is to take the the square root of both sides of the equation. And if I take the square root of x squared, this will change to plus or minus 2. Check one of the one of our previous videos. I will upload a link to something related to this. I will send the link, I will drop the link below this. So we have to cancel out this. What we left is x equal to plus root 2 or minus. So, the reasons for which it is not necessary to check the product.